but welcome to a new Harry's Garage video. And you obviously don't join me in the garage, you join me just outside Chester. In fact, I'm just going past the Airbus A380 um, factory. I think that's where they make the wings, isn't it? And then they fly them into France. Uh, because also here, there's a industrial estate, I'm just on the airfield here, and this is where I bought my Lamborghini Espada from Ian Tyrrell. It was Cheshire Classics cars at the time. Um, and my, I'm off to see the Espada now, because if you're a regular viewer of Harry's Garage, you will know that it got a bit upset on the Lamborghini tour um, last year, last September. It started using water at a bit of an alarming rate and it would lose it and was, you know, overheating, but didn't actually overheat. I was very careful it didn't do that. So something needed to be looked at. And two weeks ago, I bought the Espada up here for Ian to take apart and just see what was actually wrong with this engine. Which he did, um, but he also noted, which I knew already, it has a bit of an appetite for oil um, and it breathed very uh, heavily, which you might not understand, but it um, means there's blowback going past the piston rings. And uh, yeah, it wasn't very happy and I really needed to do something about it. Um, and so I've bitten the bullet and I said, tell you what, let's take the engine out and let's see what we find when we take the engine out and do it properly. And Ian phoned up last night and said, oh, the engine's just about to come out. And I said, no, stop, stop. I want to see the engine come out. So I've quickly driven up here this morning. Um, it's about uh, quarter to 11. And uh, you're going to join us in the workshop and we're, as we take the engine out, the Lamborghini Espada, which is going to be quite a thing to do, I think. So that's where you'll join me next, in the workshop. in time. been busy the last few days. Yes, we've been up to, up to all sorts of mischief. Yeah. Uh, so um, we concluded that the engine, it needs to come out. Yeah. There's some blow by oh, on no. the rings and things, so which is not unusual. No. Um, so oh, all no. I've, I've had, well, seven years out of it. So, well, six and a half, because it was last year when it went, started really misbehaving. But, uh, and I've wanted to get those cam covers painted for quite a while. So this is the chance to do that. It's a bit of an ex extreme excuse to it do is, it. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but um, yeah, yeah. So what have you done so far? You've, rad's obviously gone. Yeah. Carbs are off. Yeah. So, so I'm, Carbs and inlet manifolds. Um, um, exhaust manifolds are out the way as well. Is that a pain? Because that's not a lot of space down there, is it? There isn't, there isn't a lot of space. Uh, it's four separate manifolds, four three into one. Oh, ones. is it? Oh, yeah. right. Um, so we can, fortunately, we can pull them off one at a time. So there's a bit of a sequence. You do the back one first and the front one. Yeah. Um, so we've done all that. Clutch slave cylinder has to be disconnected from the gearbox, which is actually a fiddly bit because you've got to take the exhaust off to do it because it's also tightly packed down the tunnel. Um, right. So she's, uh, we've taken all this, we've, um, the air conditioning compressor, rather than yeah. discharge the system, because it was obviously, you said it was It's working. my new one. Yeah, it's a new one. Actually, oh. very good air conditioning in this. Right, well. Yeah. Didn't have any water, but I had air conditioning. Oh, well. Yes. <laughs> so you can, you can overheat in comfort, if yeah. that makes yes, any I sense Yeah, I can sit at all. the carry well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the air conditioning, that we've just literally disjointed that from the engine and swung it out of the way. So right. we didn't have to um, depressurise it and all that. Right. Okay, and gearbox is coming out with the engine. Not yeah, it's the easiest that. way. Yeah. Um, we've got a little bit of a uh, cheeky little um, thing at the front there. The oil filter. You're housing. showing me that. I just can't believe. I mean, I look so easy to cure, but no. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think? I think Fruscio Lamborghini had a word of uh, Colin Chapman because that's the sort of thing he would just leave it. I think so. Yes. Yeah. What a yeah. pain. Or well, Bertoni said uh, we can put a we can put a little thing in there to for the engine to get round or for. 
for um, a million lira we won't bother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's probably what. Um, yeah, same but, uh, yeah. Because you've done other engines, you've done Muir engines and things like that. Yeah. And presumably they just come out the back piece of cake, uh, don't they? No way. No. Oh, yeah. this is better than a Muir. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, so it's cheaper then? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. No, oh, I look forward to that. Well, um, yeah, the Muir engine, you've got a, you've got a literally rock it through 90 degrees to oh, get it out of the car because the diff no. comes through the back of the oh, chassis. Oh, the diff, because it's all gear bottom yeah, diff. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Good. So this right. is simple by comparison. Excellent. Well, excellent. Well, we're very close, actually, from it all appearing, aren't we? we are, like I'd a, like to think so, yes. out of a, you know, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I'm going to stand back and just be very impressed and, yeah. No pressure. No. Well, you've done it before. <laughs> I wonder how many times you've taken an engine out oh, of the spot. I don't know. So, yeah. 30, I started 35 years ago, so, so uh, yes, yeah, a few. Good, yeah. right. But they're all different. They all come yeah. out differently. Right. Strangely enough, <laughs> yeah. Right. No two are the same. Good. All right. Can't wait to see it. Okay. Right. Crack on. Great. Yeah. Marks. How are we doing? We're all, we're doing okay at the moment. Hold it there. Hold it there. Yep. Oh. That's, that is tight on there, isn't it? It's surprisingly isn't tight. Isn't it? Uh, yeah. Do I give it a little pump here? Please. That's coming past, isn't it? Yep. I think we're on the way. We're on the way, yeah. There, there it is. Go. So you, you think you've cracked it and then they put another one in the way. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. God. No. It's yep. gone to a funny angle. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nervous. <laughs> it's alright, nurse. <laughs> It'll be right. okay. I've got a gearbox there. <laughs> oh, I see. So you put it in the bell housing. That's clever. Right, going up again now. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beluga taking off that noise. I wonder what it was. Up again now. Right. Yeah. That go up a bit. I don't know. So I'll shut up. I'm a backseat driver. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going over here before you throw a Lamborghini V12 at me. <laughs> right, so. There it is, look at that. Look at that. It wants to come out now. Yes, 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 we like that. We like that a lot. Oh, more, more peeing. This is looking good, Pete. Okay, I'll shut Get a bonus shower if you go under at the moment. Yes, exactly. Oh, look at that. Half look like a turbocharger stuck on the front, doesn't it? It's all this big supercharger. It's the water. It's the water pump. If anybody's wondering what it is, uh, it's a starter motor. Just start pulling it. Oh yes. I think it's pretty close. Extracted. Looking good. Great big thin sump, no oil cooler on this car. No. It's a remarkable Alfred. how they stay cool actually. Yeah. Pull forward a bit more. Yeah. Alfa Romeo used to do the same, didn't they really? Yeah. They have a great big thin sump. He likes putting his name Lamborghini on everything, doesn't he, on the gearbox? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. He's got his proud name on proud. it. Yes. Uh, just go up a touch more. Yeah. Open the eye. Yeah, sure. Um, I think it might just need a little gentle persuasion, Pete. Yeah. Yeah. Don't drop it. Three, two, one. Yeah. 
just can't believe they've got that gear lever and you can't take that out. Oh yes. Look at that. There it is. I think we're, Good. Uh, we're in danger of cooking with gas. Oh, I'm very impressed with that. Well, obviously the, your work getting it out and also how dry it is. I just can't believe it. It is amazingly dry. You think that hasn't been out 87, so... This engine has been rebuilt and we reckon it is 1987, so how many years is that? 30... 40... 30 years, isn't it? 32 years. There we go. I see three espadas here, Ian. That's pretty good going. <laughs> We're collecting them. Yeah. It's very simple, really, isn't it? Yeah. But effective. There's a shocker in the wishbone. Suspension's Miura. Suspension's Miura? Yeah. Oh, I'll mention that quite often from now on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Miura SV actually. Miura SV? Did, did yeah. you hear that, the world? Yeah, that's Miura SV suspension on, a, on the Espada. <laughs> In fact, this has got Miura SV suspension because the later Espadas yeah. went onto the bolt on wheels and uh, the drive shafts and suspension arms are different because the the width of the hubs is different, the, the sort of outreach of the hubs is different. What's right. hiding under there? The water pipe normally down there, isn't so it? The, what, this is the coolant transfer pipe that goes to the top yeah. hose. Yeah. 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 Which means that when the engine's in situ, you can't see the engine number. How convenient for yeah, for people selling the car. Oh yes, a matching number, sir. Exactly. Yes. yes. Which yes. you told me this car was. <laughs> this is not coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, right. So now that we've got that pipe out of the way, with a little well, bit of cleaning, it? it's it's basically got three square machined areas on the top of the block. Here. Yeah, I can see. Um, and if we just do a bit, little gentle scraping and of the paint on there, we will find the engine number. Sure. 40457, is it? 40427. So a little is it? It's the same number. What a shock! Fantastic. So I have an it yeah. You have a matching it all matching numbers. 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 Excellent. You actually see that, don't you, in, in car. Exactly. Yes. And in the giant car breast is a well yeah. manifold here, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, no, and it's huge air filter housings of course. Yeah. 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 And then Miura with the standard. Yeah. Car brushes, so then you do see both cams in a mule, yeah. but just not in the Espada. Yeah. G gas flow wise, these sort of shouldn't work down drop yeah. holes. They're not as efficient as side entry ones. Oh. But well, I suppose the head, yeah, in the head, the actual when it enters the head, is it? Yeah. Well, it's it's yeah, it's got to go round the valve. Uh, right. Head, as opposed right. to going skimming over it. Right. Um, but but they made it work. Yeah. Which just shows how clever they are, really. And these are meant to be black crackle, aren't they? Well, they are, um, yeah, matte black crackle actually. But what the Lamborghini used to do, the likes of Valentino Balboni, if customers asked for it, yeah. um, they would spray them and then use a file to take to make the Lamborghini name and that prominent. Oh, the whole thing was black. Yeah, um, oh, right. from the factory, they were yeah. all black. Oh, um, right. Somebody's actually painted that gold. Before. Yeah, they have. Yeah, but they would from the factory. They're all black, and then, as I say, for certain customers, they actually filed with it. Just that bit. Gosh. We might have to do that. Yeah. Um, that feels loose, doesn't it? So we ought to, you say the gear chain linkage is all yeah, a bit more. I think we can improve that quite drastically. That's good. Because there should be negligible play in that room. Yeah. There's plenty of play there. Yeah. Well, next thing is to take it all apart, isn't sure. it? Sure. Yes. How long's that going to take? Uh, uh, I think we'll probably take a week, week or two. We, like yeah, a couple of weeks. So yeah. yeah, that's absolutely fine. Well, I look forward. I'll pop up then. Well, thank you, Ian. Thank you so far. Part one. Been great. Pleasure. Yeah. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video of just the engine coming out the Lamborghini Espada. I'll come back in a couple of weeks and we'll have a look what's inside. 
If you have enjoyed this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.